welcome dear students today we will start chapter 9 money in this chapter we are going to learn about rupee or rupees or paise we will also learn to express the money in words and figures we will also learn to add or subtract money or we will learn to convert rupees into paise and paise into rupees let's start our chapter by the warm up exercise here here reena and her three children sambhav sakshi and sahil went to the market in the market each of them bought some things which are shown below their prices are also given each also given below each item now sambhav bought a pencil box and it cost rupees 65.75 or rupees 65 and 75 paise sakshi bought a box of crayons it cost rupees 235 and 25 paise now sahil bought a cd and it cost rupees 175 and 50 paise now reena bought a pair of sandal and it cost rupees 899 and 90 paise can you read the money spent on buying each item yes we have already read them now let's see by the exercise given next to this now this exercise says that we have to find the total value of each collection of notes and coins and fill in the blanks here now this block is given to write the rupees only and here we have to write paisa so what we will do we will also make a column one is for rupee you know the sign of rupee is this and paisa we will symbolize as p right now we will add the rupees here and paisa we will write here in this column so we have a 10 rupee note then a 5 rupee note then a 1 rupee note here now this is a 50 paisa coin so we will write this 50 paisa here now let's add the rupees 10 plus 5 15 plus 1 is 16 and this is a 50 paisa so here in total we have 16 rupees and 50 paisa now let's count this we have 50 rupee note here then a 10 rupee note then a 5 10 rupee coin here i'm sorry 5 rupee coin then 2 rupee coin and this is a 50 paisa so i'm writing it here point 50 50 right now i add this 50 plus 10 60 60 plus 5 65 and 65 plus 2 is 67 so rupees in total we have 67 and 50 paise so here we have 67 rupees and 50 paise now next we have 100 rupees note then 20 rupee note then 10 rupees note 5 rupees note and 1 rupee coin here we don't have the paisa given let's add them 100 plus 20 is 120 120 10 10 is 130 and 130 plus 5 is 135 and 135 plus 1 is 136 so here we have 136 rupees let's see the last one we have a 500 rupee note then a 100 rupee note then a 10 rupee note and a 2 rupee coin when we add them 500 plus 100 is 600 600 plus 10 is 700 600 plus 10 is 610 and 2 rupee it is 612 so we will write 612 rupees 
the note it's shown here the hundred we note here and here now they are not working anymore as we have got the new currency note few years back right now let us understand how we can express money in words and figures now if a box cost 12 rupees and 50 paise how we are going to write them in figures figures means how we are going to write them in numbers now to write them in numbers we have to write the symbol of rupees and paisa first now the symbol of rupee is this and paisa is generally written as p so when we are going to write this amount we will write it as rupees 12 and we will put a point here and we will write paisa that is 50 let me write it here so in figures this amount 12 rupees and 50 paisa will be written as rupees 12.50 and these will be the symbols of rupee and paisa suppose it is given 63 rupees and 19 paise now how we are going to write them we will write them as we put the symbol of rupee here rupee 63 this and will be shown as the dot here and we will write 19 paisa now next is 500 rupees and 85 paisa now we are going to write them as rupees 500 this and we will show it as a point and 85 paisa now let's see how we are going to write if the amount is given in numbers and we have to write them in words now let's take an example rupees 40 point zero eight this zero eight means after this point if the if the figure is written that means it is a paisa whether the sign is there or not so we will write them as now it will be 40 rupees and 8 paise let's see another example if it is rupees 0 0.45 how you are going to write this as we have no amount given for the rupee then we will write it simply as forty-five paise. Let's suppose it's rupees one twenty-five point zero zero. Now, how you are going to write it? Because the pesas are not there, no values is there. So, we will write it as or only as one hundred twenty five rupees. This, that is how and this is the way how we will write the amount in figures and in words. That's all for today's video class. Thank you.